Hello everyone, I'm Rishabh Raj. I'm a student of IIM Tiruchirappalli. I'm creating this video as a part of the assignment of Indian Economy and Politics course in Term 3. The topic that I have chosen is the impact of COVID-19 on the various sectors in India. Let's start with the current scenario of Corona outbreak. As we all know, we are in the middle and the exponential rise of the Corona outbreak and more than 13 lakhs people have been affected. In India, it's more than 5,000. Still, India is still to reach the uh, exponential phase and the numbers is going to increase. Not only this, India is witnessing a 21 day lockdown where almost every sector is at a halt, bearing the few essential services like the food and the medical facilities. Let's understand the impact sector wise. Let's start with the automobile sector. The shutdown in China has prohibited import of various components affecting both the Indian auto manufacturers and auto component industry. However, the current levels of inventory system seem to be sufficient for the Indian industry. But in case the shutdown is going to be prolonged and it if it is going to be a month or the two, there is a great impact going to be there in terms of the inventory levels. And it is expected that there will be more than 10% contraction in the Indian auto manufacturing in 2020. In the pharmaceutical and Medicare sector, as we all know, India is one of the top formulation drug exporters in the world. But for that, we need APIs. And the APIs are heavily imported from China. India has imported uh, the APIs worth rupees 24,900 crores in the uh, last financial year FY19, which accounts for 40% of the overall domestic consumption. By supply value, it is uh, the 70% and India is already facing the supply disruptions from China. And the current government uh, have already uh, helped the US government in supplying uh, the uh, various uh, formulations uh, that is or was already restricted uh, earlier. So India has now lifted the restrictions uh, for the US and the other American countries. But for the India's own consumption and the since the supply is not very much, India is going to face a real trouble maybe if the supply is not going to be adequate in the near future. Talking about the chemicals uh, industry, local dietary units in India are heavily dependent on imports of several raw materials, including chemicals and intermediates from China. The late supplements from China and the spike in raw material prices are affecting the dyes and dye stuff industry, especially in the uh, state of Gujarat. Nearly 20% of the production has already been impacted uh, and it's going to rise because the country is uh, facing a lockdown and there is no clear sign of the uh, lockdown getting uh, over soon. Let's talk about the electronic sector. As we have already uh, witnessed that there are only the essential supplies that are getting delivered and all the shops are closed except the essential uh, products like the daily use uh, soap and food uh, products. So the electronic products which are the cell phones uh, and these uh, laptops and all other things have come at a heart. The demand is almost negligible. Even the e-commerce websites like uh, Flipkart Amazon has restricted the uh, sale of these uh, products and only the essential services are uh, are getting delivered and uh, not only this the supply uh, is major uh, issue because uh, china is a major supplier both for the final products as well as the raw materials used in the electronics industry so the disruption uh, is already there uh, production is not happening to the level to which it was expected and also the demand has drastically reduced that is even not matching the supply. Talking about the IT sector, uh, we all know that the all other sectors, including the manufacturing sector is heavily impacted, but IT is not the one which is very heavily impacted because uh, India is a BPO outsourcing uh, uh, hub and a lot of activities that we do are uh, the service part to the other uh, countries. countries. So uh, still people are able to work since the lockdown movement of people are not allowed, offices are closed, but the uh, work from home uh, has really enabled to actually uh, work from home and uh, deliver the uh, efficiency even if it is available. But still a few companies uh, which could not uh, relocate the work to the work from 
home facility uh, they are facing a huge uh, disruption and the employee uh, salary cuts and uh, the other benefits are really getting impacted for this also a lot of people uh, which were already involved in the projects uh, are running slow or even closed down and the investors have pulled off their money too so in fact uh, the disruption is there the impact is there but not to the extent to which it has impacted the other sectors last but not the least the tourism and aviation industry it's the most heavily impacted industry as indigo and all other major airlines has uh, been grounded no flights are running through all international and domestic flights are cancelled and uh, there is no movement of people except the uh, cargo ones so uh, as we already know that the airline industry is itself uh, on the three thin margin and it's very difficult uh, to ground even a day for all the aircrafts and maintain the profit so grounding it for 21 days and uh, for god's sake no matter what uh, days it will extend so it is going to be a huge uh, bankruptcy like scenario for the aviation industry the tourism industry is heavily impacted people are not allowed to move it's still locked down so all those major places it's like completely shut down and the uh, people movement from the international places are completely shut down all those people who were providing the services uh, are the people who believed uh, to be earning the money from the seasonal demands and that is completely on a hold now so i think this is the tourism and the aviation industry which is heavily impacted uh, due to the covid outbreak on the concluding note i'd like to say there are uh, almost all sectors which are heavily impacted uh, by the corona outbreak and it's not applicable only for india but also to the whole world even the situation is very worse in the italy spain france uk china and uh, now the emerging uh, cases uh, in us too but still if india is able to uh, restrict in this spread of corona outbreak in the coming uh, few weeks the impact would be controlled i guess uh, in the coming uh, weeks as compared to the other countries to which it has uh, expanded already a report has already uh, said that uh, the economy has already gone into a recession and there can be only two countries uh, that uh, will further uh, might uh, get away from the recession that will be the china and india let's see how it goes in the future and whether india will be able to uh, control this corona outbreak and come back very strongly is a matter of uh, weight and hope. So that's it for me. Thank you.